right guys, today's adventure is we got the new motor in the back of the truck. I don't put motors in trucks, so we're hauling it off to a guy in Whitefield, probably about 10, 15 minutes from here on a good day on it with a good vehicle. And we're gonna be hauling it, or not hauling it, we're actually driving it down the road probably 10, 15 miles, so let's see how it goes. As long as you don't let off the gas, it don't sound too bad. You let off the gas, it's when she makes an awful racket. So we'll keep our fingers crossed that hopefully we get this sometime today and we don't gotta call a tow truck or get it towed. the new motor in and get the truck fixed. Can't wait till I have the new motor in and have my truck back. I came down to the bottom of the stop sign, stopped and the truck stalled. I had a hammer on her to get her going again. We got her running. We'll see how long we can make it. We're, I don't know, a quarter of a mile out. Let's see what happens. Come on people. Oh, can we make it in? <laughs> we made it, guys. Hopefully. I can't see that red one out. We made it. I don't think it could have been any closer. We got it here though. All right, the saga continues. All right guys, little truck update. Um, put a new motor in it. Had a number six broken connecting rod. Got the truck back about a week ago. Drove it for a couple of days, started acting up again. It would uh, go into reduced power and I was getting the code P1518. Pointing towards throttle body and the throttle accelerator control module. Did a bunch of wire checks, couldn't figure anything out. The number one cause for it was throttle body. These GM trucks are known to have a lot of throttle body issues. So I went ahead and I bought a new GM. I'll show you throttle body. Put it in, test drove it, was going good. Got stranded out on the road the other night. Billy made it home, made it home to our dirt road. Had to have our my wife hook it up and tow me back to the driveway. Went ahead and did some wire checking some more, and I'm gonna show you in a minute what I found. I've already started repairing it a little bit. It was raining earlier, so I didn't dare take out the camera. Camera's not picking it up that good, but there's a bunch of chewed bare wires under here from mice. Let's see if we can get these ones. See all the frayed wires, bare exposed wires? So I'm thinking what's happening is they were arcing out so I've been going ahead and I repaired five of them already. I've had a cut and splice in wires. Some of, them able, some of them I've been able to just use heat shrink, take them out of the pin here, take the ends out, and then wrap them with heat shrink. We got... Alright guys, moment of truth. I'm going to start the truck up and see what happens. Let's find out. Reduced engine power still. Hmm. That is not good. All right, since I had my intake manifold off on the back left side of the engine block, right here, right here where this hole is, right here where this hole is, um, you get this bolt head right here, right behind it, there's a hole. There was another bolt in it. 
and it had two, one, two ground wires going to it. And I've been having the reduced power going on in my motor. And I don't know if you can see, I can't get it any closer. Um, right here, it's a ground wire and it's broken right at the connector. So we're gonna hit, go ahead, I'm gonna clean up that end and put another end on it. And hopefully that solves the problem with the reduced power. All right, so I cut out the ground wire. I don't know if you can see it any better. But right here, it's totally split. So I'm 99% sure that's going to be the issue we were having for the reduced power. All right, so the other day when I was fixing the truck and making the video, my camera ended up dying. So kind of sorry for that video that was back and forth, back and forth. But so what ended up happening is put a new motor in the truck, got it back, had it for a couple of days, and the thing wouldn't run on me. I kept getting a reduced power code, um, plug into the scanner and check, and I was getting a code P1518, which is for the throttle control body and TAC module. It ended up being a broken ground. The uh, ground got broken when they put the motor back in. I ended up putting a new throttle body in, found some broken wires that the mice chewed in on the fuse panel. I showed you guys that. Um, that was kind of a different related issue. I'm glad I took care of that. That solved a few other issues. But the ground wire that I replaced, you saw in the video, that was the number one reason why I was getting the uh, reduced power code. I had to redo and replace some knock sensors in there. The aftermarket ones I put in, or I had the mechanic put in, were bad. And I heated up the intake manifold, driving it over. So I needed to replace the intake manifold while it was off to put the knock sensors in. So when I had the intake manifold off, I was able to find that ground wire. So I'm glad I did the intake. It was, wasn't for me doing the intake. I would never have seen that broken ground wire. So I replaced everything. And that's what the video is about. So if you guys ever have any reduced power issues with a Chevy, I feel bad for you. They're not fun. You really can't drive the truck. So thanks for watching. If you like the videos, or if you have any questions about reduced power in a Chevy pickup truck, leave them in the comments below. I'll get back to answering them to you. It's been a crazy month here on the farm, so hopefully we'll get back to normal here with the truck being fixed and everybody's over their sickness. So we'll see you right back here next time at Lumna Acres.